After we secure the border, which is everyone agrees is step one, what do we do with the 11, 12, however many millions of illegal immigrants that are living here? That's a good question, and I'm not sure I've got a good answer. Because it is a very, it's the proverbial Gordian knot, Duke. Because you've got two different groups of people that you want to treat justly and fairly. You have people who came here and went through the process legally, a process that has got to be reformed. Uh, as one gentleman here was just saying, you know, he's been waiting, what was it, 12 years? And now he's gonna have to wait another eight years to get his green card, and then another five years after that for a citizenship? That's nuts. So the issue becomes to stop them from, you know, wanting to come and stay, you've got to draw out the magnet that's drawing them. And that is going after the employers and so forth. And you ask again about border control. This is part of the border control. Go after that which is drawing them to the United States, the, the cheap base slave laborers that, you know, they can come here and uh, work for less money and under the table money and be treated less than human. That, if the government would go after that and try to dry up, then not as many, then a lot of them might go home. The second thing is some of the laws where we have where, all right, you drive across the border and you're about to have a baby and you get within 100 yards of a hospital, the hospital has to take you in even though you can't pay. Things like that that, are, that draw them in. If that's not there to attract them, then many of them might return home anyway. Now, for those that are here, um, what do you do? I, I honestly, well, do so <laughs> and here's why. Because <clears throat> there are those who are going through it right and who have done it right. You got, you must be fair and just to them. Mm -hmm. But then we look at these other people who came here illegally and they've been here for 15, 20 years, illegally. And this is where I have, I think, I like Newt's, you know, trying to resolve the problem, but his problem, his, his solution was, okay, anybody who's been 25 years or more, they can stay. They can't become citizens, but they can stay. Why 25 years? Why not 20? Why not 15? It's why a, not 10? Why not 10? Right. It's an arbitrary subjective, and we are a nation of laws. If we're not a nation under law, we're going to be a nation without law. And that's what I fear we're going towards. And so we have to respect the law. One of the fundamental laws we have is, if you're going to be in this country, you must come here within the guidelines of how we will permit you to come. And so how can we be fair to those who did it right by not doing something with those who didn't? And so there's uh, Solomon's, you know, with the, uh, the two prostitutes and the baby, you know, well, cut it in half. You've got two groups you've got to satisfy. And what I would prefer to do, and my thought is, talk to those people. Not the leaders of LULAC, not the, you know, those that I don't think really speak for people, but come here as a representative to this district. Talk to the Hispanic club here. Ask them to come in and say, you who have gone through this process, are you who are going through this process, what do you think would be fair? To those of you who did it right, or who are still stuck in this forever process of getting it right, how do you think those who have come here illegally should be dealt with so that they get fair treatment, but at the same time, you feel that justice is done towards you? Instead of me as a government official saying, well, this is what needs to be done. A representative is representing the people. These are the people who have the most at stake. If we just grant amnesty, which I'm opposed to, then how do these people feel? 